First tonight in our top story, we have learned the motorcyclist injured while trying to avoid hitting a truck earlier this month in Pueblo has died. Tonight, family and friends of 34 year old Stacy Cooper gathered for a vigil at the crash site to pay tribute and send a message to our lawmakers. News 5's Lena Halland joins us live now from the crash site with more on their message. Lena. Well, there is a growing memorial left behind from that vigil behind us here tonight. This heartbroken family tells us they believe this death could have been prevented if Stacy was just wearing a helmet. Although it's too late to bring her back, they say it isn't too late to save other bikers across the state. I know that <laughs> she wasn't wearing her helmet, that this that she would be here. Stacy Cooper was 34 when she laid out her motorcycle while dodging a truck. It's a catastrophic loss in our lives. The most biggest loss I've ever faced in my life. Um, it's a person I spend every day with. Cooper wasn't wearing a helmet at the time of the crash and suffered a serious head injury. She spent two weeks in the ICU but died in the hospital on Thanksgiving with her father Gary by her side. She was a uh, great life, a great person on this earth. And she's here for a reason and hopefully it's to stop this again. Hold them high, I know you're off the tired. A day later with candles held high, hundreds gathered to pay tribute to the woman who brightened up their lives. She um, could make anybody smile, anybody who came into the bar um, or her salon, if they were feeling down, she would make them feel beautiful or she would say, hey, you're too pretty to be crying or she would make them feel like they were part of the family. That's what kept people coming back for her. Her family wants you to know what she did, or rather what she was missing, wasn't illegal. Even though helmets are proven to save lives, according to state law, bikers 18 and up are not required to wear them. It's a law that Colorado has gone without for four decades. We have to wear a seatbelt. It senses that they don't have to wear a helmet. I'm sorry. That's why Cooper's family is now calling on lawmakers to bring helmet laws back to Colorado. A lot of people at my bar are riders and they might not like what I'm saying, but I don't care. They're stubborn just like she was, and I don't want to see anybody go through this again. Hoping to prevent any more families from feeling this grief. She's here for a reason. I hope the reason is to save other people's lives. And the family has not spoken with any lawmakers just yet, but they hope that Stacy's death will at least start the conversation. We have posted more information about their initiative on our website at koaa.com. We will continue to track this for you and let you know what happens. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Lena Howland, News 5.